Hello everyone. Welcome to the class. So in this video, I am going to explain about the basics of enolite chemistry. So in this, I am going to explain only the basics of enolite. So what is enolite and how it forms? Let us consider a carbonyl compound. For example, I am taking a ketone. Here this ketone has an alpha proton which is an acidic so this can undergo a tautomerization and gives you enol which is another tautomer so this tautomerism is keto enol tautomerism okay so there are two different type of tautomers we have so tautomer 1 is keto and tautomer 2 is enol okay let us start with keto so this ketone has sp2 carbon atom so that means this sp2 carbon atom connect to more electronegative oxygen so that this is electrophilic that means this can attack by the nucleophiles so tautomer ketone is electrophilic and it can attack by the nucleophiles and uh, tautomer enol so this tautomer enol is nucleophilic okay nucleophilic where this can acts as a nucleophile so this sp2 carbon five electrons attack onto the electrophile and acts as a nucleophile not only nucleophile this can also this can also first case this can attack like a electrophile and another case this can also act as a ambient ambient nucleophile ambient nucleophile that means when you have electrophile so here this O enolization that means O alkylation can happen okay so there are two tautomers one is ketone and one more is enol so tautomer ketone acts as an electrophile and the tautomer enol acts as a nucleophile so next so nucleophilic enol tautomer especially enolent variant so is one of the important species for the formation of cc single bonds okay this enolate is very important see for example so how to generate this enolate so this enolates first you consider a ketone and treat this ketone with the base so this base can abstract the proton from this and it can form it can form a carbanion a carbanion so this can form enolate so this is enolate so it is a variant of enol so that means this is actually more reactive than the enol so there are alternative species for this enols is for enolates that is imine anion and enamines so imine anion and one more enamine so these two are the equivalent synthetic equivalents to enolates so detailed studies we will discuss in further stark enamine reaction okay so next one is so how to remove the acidic proton from this ketone how to remove the acidic proton in this ketone so that is using base so how to select a base to generate an enolate that means to abstract a proton from the ketone or whatever aldehyde to generate enolate so that is completely the base selection is depends on the pka value of acidic proton in ketone okay what is pka pka is a negative logarithm of the acid dissociation constant that means this pka value is one method used to indicate the strength of acid that means if the pka value is very less then it is considered as strong acid so pka is inversely proportional to acidity so that means the less value of pka means that is strong acid if high value of pka is it is basic for example consider there are some molecules here that means hydrochloric acid carboxylic acid protonated amines water alkane i mean if you consider the pka value see the values for hydrochloric acid since you are calling it as an acid strong acid so the pk value is very less so that means it is considered as strong acid whereas if you consider this amine so it has if 35 the pk value is 35 which is more than this minus 8 so that means it has higher value of pk so that means it is base that means it is less acidic so you can also consider the conjugate base from this acid so that means the conjugate base of this strong acid always weak okay this is the order of the increasing order of acidity and whereas the conjugate base which is coming from strong acid will be always weaker base suppose if you consider alkane so this alkane is weaker acid the 
conjugate base comes from this uh, uh, methane is a stronger base. So this is all about uh, the pK values of different molecules. Consider the ketones. Since we are generating enolate, so the starting materials are uh, ketones. So there are different ty type of uh, ketones we have here. See, the ketone, this ketone, acetyl acetone has 9, the pK value is 9. And when you introduce, suppose here you have methyl, when you introduce one methyl plus, if you introduce a ethoxy group here, so this oxygen gives electrons so that it reduces the capacity of the acidic proton. Okay, that means the pK value compared to these two is say increasing like this. You are increasing the O ethoxy by this, that means by replacing this methyl group so that the value is increasing, pK value is increasing. So pK value is increasing means the proton, acidic proton is, the acidity of this proton is decreasing. So comparatively, compare these three molecules. So this first one is more acidic, which contains more acidic proton. If suppose if you consider this molecule, there are two, that means this proton is flanked by two sino, which are electron with ring group, so that this pK value is 11.2, that means it is also acidic proton. So comparatively, this uh, acetophenone is having 15.8 and uh, acetone, compare this acetone with the uh, acetaldehyde, okay, acetaldehyde, suppose it is acetaldehyde H. If you compare these two, okay, what happens, so this uh, acetone has pK value 20, whereas this uh, uh, acetaldehyde has 17. So likewise, if you increase the methyl groups on this, so that means you are increasing the electron donating, donating groups to this molecule, that means inductive by inductive effect, the pK value is increasing, so that the acidity is decreasing. For consider this molecule nitromethane, so nitromethane also has an acidic proton, acidic proton, okay, so this acidic proton connected to more electron with the rank group so that this pK value of this one is 10 that means this proton is also considered as acidic okay this proton can undergo in tautomerism that means it gives you a C form okay these are all about pK values of different ketones so that means the next one is possibility of self condensation so that means if enolates are considered as nucleophiles and ketones are electrophiles so the ketones and the enolates are in equilibrium always, right? Enolates are equilibrium always. So suppose one ketone is giving one enolate, so this ketone is acting as electrophile and that enolate coming from that ketone is acting as nucleophile. So there is a self-condensation possibility takes place. That means the condensation takes place between these same molecules. So how to avoid this self-condensation here? So the answer is use strong ways use a st very strong ways to abstract the proton so that it gives you a stable enolate okay for example if you take a lithium diisopropylamide the pk value of this one is 38 that means it is a base so it can abstract the proton from acidic position of another molecules so if you treat this one with acetone okay the pk value of this acetone is 20 so that the difference between the pk values of this three is 18 that means it is large so one equivalent of LDA lithium diisopropyl amide is enough to deprotonate the proton from this acetone so that we can avoid the self condensation here next topic is regioselective enolate formation that means kinetic versus thermodynamic control so how to form that means how the kinetic enolate is forming how this thermodynamic enolate is forming so consider an unsymmetrical ketone so here you have an unsymmetrical ketone where this is 2 methyl pentane 3 ohm so which is having two protons here okay comparatively this is considered a this is considered b so this has less that means less number of electron donating groups so that's why it's more acidic and this has more methyl groups here so this is less acidic okay so this is less acidic but it provides more substituted double bond that means if you abstract this proton by using any base okay it gives you a more substituted enolate okay suppose if you abstract this proton less uh, that is more acidic proton it gives you always the kinetic enolate kinetic enolate that means this kinetic enolate is coming from highly acidic pro proton removal and this thermodynamic enolate is coming the formation uh, that means which is the more substituted enolate that is considered as thermodynamic 
enolate. So that means always this thermodynamic enolate is not a substitute. It's not uh, necessary to be uh, more substituted enolate. That means that is depends on the steric hindrance. Suppose if you have more steric hindrance on this, so it is impossible to form this kind of thermodynamic enolate. So what are the factors mainly favoring the formation of both kinetic, kinetic enolate and thermodynamic enolate, especially solvents, base, temperature and the cations. So these are the factors, four different factors are favoring the formation of enolates that is kinetic enolate and thermodynamic enolate. For example, aprotic solvents, if you take aprotic solvents generally it favors the kinetic enolate formation whereas if you take protic solvents generally it favors the formation of thermodynamic enolate and strong bases gives you kinetic enolate that is less substituted enolates, weaker bases gives you more substituted that is thermodynamic enolates and low temperature always uh, prefers this uh, formation of kinetic enolates, higher temperatures gives you formation of thermodynamic enolates. And what are the applications of enolates? So once if you treat any ketone with a more strong base, strong base that is LDA, you will get a carbanion. This carbanion can form enolate. Okay, this enolate is a uh, more important species and it can act as a nucleophile. So this nucleophile can involve in different kind of reactions that is nucleophilic substitution reactions or nucleophilic addition reactions, right? So here, if you treat with the halogenation, so that means this nucleophile can undergo halogenation and gives you a halogenated product and this can undergo alkylation reactions and gives you alkylated products and it also undergo aldol reaction, okay, it gives you aldol products and it also undergo in pleasant reaction. So there are different kind of reactions you can expect from this nucleophiles where the nucleophile involvement is there. Especially you can think about nucleophilic substitution reactions and nucleophilic addition reactions. In further class, we are going to discuss about the aldol reactions where the enolates are playing important role to form a CC bond formation in products. Thank you.